My name is Isaac, and the Lord has blessed me with this testimony that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Growing up, my circumstances weren't the best. I harbored hatred towards the world for allowing the trauma in my life to take place. I was depressed, anxious, and I struggled to accept that I was loved. I felt alone and helpless to the voices in my head, telling me I would never be good enough. My depression took me to dark places, and after trying to take my own life and failing, I began to wonder what was preventing me from leaving this world early. I was showed love and acceptance I had never seen before by my Christian friends who I had met through the Ministry of Young Life, and they used that kindness to slowly break down the, the walls around me and show me that joy is truly attainable. My senior year of high school, I went to summer camp, and there I truly saw the presence of the gospel. I learned and took in the fact that Jesus died on the cross for me, and more importantly, he did not stay dead. He is risen, and that means the God of the universe is alive and has a plan for me and that plan did not have me dead at 17 years old. In the following months, I began to fully grasp the weight of my sins, and I accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior over my life. For the first time, I received the love I was so desperately craving, and through that, I was able to finally learn to love others and love myself. After this, I felt compel compelled to share this news with the world. I began leading young life at the most magical place on earth, West Claremont High School. <laughs> Go Wolves. And I was sharing the gospel with coworkers, roommates, old friends, and family as much as possible. And my life is still hard, and I think it always will be. But that's okay, because I like to think of my faith as a, like a WWE match. Uh, it is about with a predetermined winner, but just because the decision is made doesn't mean you don't go to the ring. And every day of my life I go to the ring, and I scratch and I claw and I fight with everything I have because a guy named Jesus died on the cross so that my victory would be predetermined. And that is why I'm getting baptized today. This is another symbol of my submission to Jesus Christ as he is the champion of my life and may he reign forever and ever. Isaac, it's my responsibility to ask you, who is Lord of your life? Jesus Christ. Well, then it's my privilege to baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism and raised to walk in newness of life with him.